this is an RC circuit problem. Here's the circuit. At T0, our capacitor is uncharged. The switch will be closed and the circuit has one capacitor, two resistors, one battery, and that's it. Our first resistor 10 ohms, second resistor 20 ohms, the capacitor 0.25 farads, battery 12 volts. The first question is to find the current through resistor 1 at time 0, at the instant that we close the switch. For this we're gonna use the loop rule and we're gonna use the upper part of this circuit and we're gonna go clockwise. We're gonna start at the battery, use the resistor number one and the capacitor. Okay, so let's Look at the voltages. We start at the battery, which will give us the plus E. As we follow it, we get to the R1 minus the voltage drop on R1 minus the voltage drop over the capacitor. And this will be equal to a zero. Now we're going to plug in. This one we don't have anything to plug in. For voltage drop across R1, we can write I1 times R1 minus for the voltage drop across the capacitor, we can enter Q over C. This will be equal to zero. Now we can our capacitor is on charged at the instant that we close the switch so that means the charge on it is zero there is no charge so this will be zero therefore this whole term is zero so what we have left is e mf emf and the i or one we're going to plug in the values, so plus 12 volts minus I1, that's the one we're going to be looking for, times 10.0 ohms from our value that's given, and this is equal to zero. From here we can solve for I1 or I R1 I should I noted it here I R1 so I R1 this is equal to the 12 volts over 10 ohms which is 1.20 amps there you go for this part there's another way that we can actually solve this and that is by using this formula. We can use this one, plug in the values, and we will we should find the exact same value. So our i will be i not times e on the power of negative t over R C. We're gonna start substituting our initial current we can substitute it out by our EMF divided by R this one we'll leave it like this for now there you go now let's plug in some values 12 volts divided by 10 ohms e 
on the power of so our time is zero and RC we don't need to plug that in since zero takes this whole term to zero and as we can see we are at this step so I equals 1.20 amps either way solving it this way or this way is fine as you can see we found the same values now the next step is asking us to find the current or the same resistor R1 but at this time at a time of infinite a long time after the switch was closed so at this point we do realize that the capacitor is fully charged so there is no more current going through it so we cannot use this loop anymore this time we're gonna use the bigger loop and we're gonna go around all from the battery we're gonna go all the way around and here we're gonna use this loop this loop and all the way back here this time we're gonna go clockwise also so let's start plugging it in here we start from the same position so we can plus the EMF <coughs> the voltage drop at R1 which will be I1 R1 continue we're gonna get to the voltage drop at I at R2 which we can write as I2 times R2 and back to there's nothing left back to the EMF so this whole thing equal to zero we use the loop rule on the outer loop there you go and now we can start plugging some numbers in this one we know 12.12 12 volts minus current on resistor 1 we don't know that that stays unknown R1 we know 10 ohms minus I2 I2 times our R2 which is 20 ohms and equals 0 now the current here and here will be the same so we can substitute it out and use it as the same so 12 volts equals i and we're gonna factor it out from here that will be 30 ohms i equals 12 volts divided by the 30 ohms therefore we have i will be equal to 0 0.400 amps now the next question the next question is asking us the voltage across the capacitor a long time after the switch was closed t approaching infinite we're gonna use the upper loop again the one that I marked in orange we're gonna use the same loop to calculate this so we're gonna start at the EMF plus EMF we're gonna go around we are at the resistor 1 which the voltage drop at R1 I1 times R1 and back here the capacitor voltage drop across, across the capacitor VC and equal zero there's nothing else left this is the term that we're looking for so we can solve for it we can move stuff to the other side multiply by negative one so we can 
write it this way. There you go. We saw for it. We know this one. We know this one, and we know this one. So, 12 volts minus I1, 0.400 amps times 10 ohms, and voltage across the capacitor will be 8 volts. Now we're going to open the switch in the circuit and the capacitor is going to start discharging. And we need to find the current across the capacitor at a time after the opening of 2.5 seconds. Now we can use this formula. the power of T over RC and here as we notice we're gonna need to calculate first our initial current so for this we're gonna use our circuit we're gonna use the loop rule again and this time we're gonna use the lower part and we're gonna use the loop rule on this part down here we're gonna write the voltage drop across resistor 2 will be this is our initial current and our capacitor plus VC equals 0 there you go we the term that we are looking for is I naught. We can solve for it. Now we can plug in 8 volts on top, 20 ohms on the bottom, and this will give us 0 0.400 amps. This is our initial current, which now we can go back and use in our formula to find I at this time. Now we're going to plug in here. I equals I naught. We just found it. 0 0.400 amps times E on the power of negative our T is 2.5 seconds or C the R that we are working with is R2 this part of the circuit is open so doesn't work this time so we're working with R2 so for R we're gonna put the 20 ohms times the C is the capacitance of the capacitor 0 0.250 farads there you go and if we calculate this one this will give us 0 0.243 amps there you have it